it's Tori and welcome back to The Crafty Girl. If you are brand new here, hello and welcome to all of the crafting fun that there is to be had. On this channel, I do a lot of tips and tricks and tutorials on many different crafts. Right now we're focusing a lot on knitting machines because that is what I'm into. Uh, and a video that was requested because a machine that I just ordered came in a couple weeks ago and I finally had a chance to open her up and play with her. And that is for an Addy Express 22 needle review. And so today's video is going to be a review between or I guess a review of both the Addy Express 22 needle and the Centro Toy 22 pin. Um, you can kind of use the terms interchangeably if you've been using a knitting machine for any amount of time. But I know a lot of you might have questions on which should you get, which is better, should you get one over the other, and I have answers for you. So before I get into all of that though, here's the unboxing. I actually did it a little separately because I wanted to test out the Addy Express um, before I could give you a really solid, comfortable review because I've already used the Centro 22 for a very long time. And so I wanted to make sure I had an even playing field. So also don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And I do have memberships now on the Crafty Girl and you get early access to uh, tons of video, behind the scenes footage, free downloadables. There's a lot of different perks available and we would love to have you as a member of the Girl Gang. So without further ado, let's take a look at the unboxing and then we'll come back together and I will go over some of the answers to the questions that all of you had. Let's go. Okay. Made in Germany. Although it's funny, this is made in China. This is made in Germany. Um, not made in the USA. So this is what we have when we unbox the Addy Express. So we have our little chain here. And I haven't taken her, I probably should have taken her out when I got her just because if she's damaged, I probably need to return her. Um, so here is what she looks like. The cool thing about the Addy Express is that she actually has a counter. So um, on the central products, only the largest 48 pin has a counter. So we have our counter. This is our yarn guide here. Okay. Put that that way. Um, we also have extra pins. This is also a bonus because um, I, even though I have not experienced having any broken pins, I know it can happen. And so trying to get those pins ordered or trying to find them can be a bit of a pain I have heard. So we have some extra pins right here. Um, and then we also have, oh, oh, I'm so excited. Curved needle, curved darning needles. I have one of these that I guard with my, uh, you know, utmost, diligence because it's the only one I have, but I find that the curved edges work really well um, for the smaller Centro 22. So I'm so glad I have that. Also what's in here, this is exciting, clamps. So one of the biggest problems we find with those um, Centro machines is that, you know, you have to find a way to anchor it down. And so uh, double-sided tape, you know, going to the hardware store and getting C-clamps, those type of things. They're all extra expenses and uh, this machine actually comes with them. So let's get these legs on. Um, there's also a, there's also a manual and in the centro there's like a page of um, information. Let's see what this manual looks like. Uh, okay, let's find there's any English. Oh, it's just in multiple languages. That's cool. So it looks like it's in three different languages, German, English, and French possibly. Um, but it gives you instructions, which is great. Plain knitting. It tells you how to do the knitting, tell you how to do circular knitting multicolor knitting. So this is actually way more helpful if you're just starting out um, than the Centro that doesn't really give you anything. Though you can find information online, um, it's always nice when the product that you spent, um, how much was this? This one was $136 I think I paid for this one. I know, a lot. Um, and I paid for this with my own money. This was not given to me. So it's good to have instructions. 
All right, well, let's put on our little legs here. Makes sense. Okay, so nice little stability legs with the um, grippy here so that it doesn't roll around on the table. They are not um, suction cups, but that's okay because the suction cups I find don't really work anyway, unless you have them on like glass or something. And I've never used an Addy, but I have seen videos, so I kind of have a good understanding. It's very similar to the Centro. Okay, excellent. So my legs are on. How sturdy. Definitely feels sturdier. Um, this is the crank. So the crank is... Oh, oh, because... Oh, ah, a little resistance there because you have the timer or the... Let's see, there we go. Just getting to know... I mean, she feels really stable. I feel like I don't even really need to clamp um, her down on this table yet, but let's take a look at the clamps just to see. Here we go. Ah, look, there are instructions. That's lovely. So you put it like this. Oh, and then you just use, this makes sense. And then you just use the little washer here. This isn't a washer. What is this, a screw? I don't know what this is called. But then you just put that there and then it holds it on the table. Awesome. Cool. I actually might even be able to use these with my other... Nope, can't because they have a different bottom. Well, anyway, so these are going to be super helpful. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So let's try our first process here. Um, I'm going to grab, grab a little bit of waste yarn. Now I need to learn this machine. So I think... Okay. So here this. I have to figure out where these pins are because in my other one, I have them marked. They have three black pins and that's pin number one. Okay. So this is the last pin, um, on the machine. So I'm going to cast on here. That's the first pin. Okay, <laughs> I'm just getting it. I'm assuming it goes in here. And then I've seen for less tension, you can go in here. For more tension, you can go down here. I hold on to the yarn anyway. Let's see with that. Okay. So definitely gets a little stuck. Am I in? Okay, and there is the uh, panel and tube setting down here. Okay, so which we go by there and it goes one. Okay, open that back up. So that is our waste yarn. Now we're just gonna grab, I already have a cake made for my black. So let's go ahead, where's my little bowl here? Okay, and we're going to start the counter over because I need to be very specific. So I'm doing 112 rows and we'll just do solid black. So we'll start with the black ones. Um, I think I only need two rows of the solid black. And it's interesting because there's no tensioner, so I have to kind of do this on my own. Okay, and it automatically goes to one. Let's start that over because that's not how I work. Okay. It's definitely smoother until you get back to the row with the counter. Okay, one. Two, three, four. Oops, what's in here? 
Oh, and I don't even have to count. I could just keep going. All right, so far, it's definitely way smoother. I'm even more stable without, um, without the clamps on there. I just have to get used to where I wanna put my hands now. Now it's funny because I saw a lot of people mention that the crank is a little confusing at first because you're so used to if you're using the Centro, but I find this actually very ergonomically um, correct. It feels comfortable to me. Well, this actually works up really fast. All right, I'm gonna try putting the clamps on because she is getting a little wonky here. Okay, awkward angle, um, but I'm gonna show you, this is so smooth. This is like, I mean, seriously, this makes me never wanna touch a Centro again. Um, it makes me wanna go out and just buy, <laughs> you know, a, a couple more Addies, which maybe I will. All right, now, what's going on here? Something's happening here, look at that. Oh, the yarn must have got stuck. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I think the yarn just is snagged on something. Which I don't, I don't know what it's snagged on, but it's definitely snagged on something. Ooh, that's not good, because if your yarn snags on. Okay, so I'm gonna undo this because I know I just did a bunch of things, but I wanna see what's happening. Again, getting to know this machine. So where is this? So the snag was over here. Okay, now it could have just been, I'm just, I'm feeling to see if there's anything sharp on here. And that kind of stinks because I just did all of this work. But again, this is, this is an honest review. So let's just start over. Um, I do this regularly, by the way. That's the thing about yarn. I, oh God, I always feel like such an annoying person. I'm like, it's only yarn. Um, but I didn't want to have, you know, a snag on my, on my project. So let's start it again and see if it snags again. This must be the giving a little bit of pushback here. Okay, so now let's go back. I don't know if I can find <laughs> oh the end of my yarn, which I just took out. All the rows. Excuse me. No, don't. Here we go. Okay. get the snag again. Okay, so it is, it's getting a snag again right there. Okay, so this one might actually be broken because that should not be happening. And it's on the same one that it was last time. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's doing it here as well. I'm gonna try a different yarn and see if it has to do with the yarn, but it's not, it's this, it's this one. Huh. 
Okay, maybe I'm gonna try a different skein of black because this seems to be working just fine. I don't have any snags, so it could just be, maybe it's just that yarn. Okay, no, it's doing it again. It's, it's a flaw. Dang it, I have to return this. Ah. At this point, I was so frustrated and I opened up a return on Amazon, but then I just kept going um, because I wasn't going to give up on my machine. I played with it a little bit and I was able to get a couple of really great tubes. And from this point, I was just really conscious and aware. Um, and so far, I still every once in a while, I'm getting one of those split stitches, but um, I was able to make my whole entire Wednesday vest. Uh, almost the whole entire thing with very little problems after this. So overall, it was frustrating at first, but I canceled my return and I kept her to this day. All right, our two, our two little machines right here. So one of the questions that I got many times, many, many times um, was, is it worth it? So the price difference between these two machines is significant, significant. And that is because the Centro, this little one right here, super light plastic, it's considered a toy. So that's why the brand name is actually Centro Toy. And so it's more like play around with it, make some cool things, check it out, see how you like it. Um, you can make great things with this. The price is totally different. I paid $28 for this and I think I paid $130 for this one. Um, and again, this, this video is not sponsored by the way. You probably can tell because I'm gonna give you a really honest review. Um, but the Centro, this one, I, I can't, I can't hide it anymore. It's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate to say that, but I've been using this one now for a while and the things that everyone said was going to happen happened. The gear started grinding there. It's, you know, skipping stitches, um, it's not meant for a lot of use. Now, if you are going to be doing, you know, just a couple projects here and there, maybe you have, uh, you know, a child in your life and you want them to play around with it like a toy. Well, you know, what do you spend on toys? You probably spend around $30 on a really good toy anyway. Um, so this would be a good starting point for like a child or a casual user. However, casual user, I mean like make one beanie a month, right? Like that casual. So is it worth it? The price for the Addy, I would say is steep, right? At 130, you can get it. It kind of goes up and down. I saw it during the holidays at like 175 for this one. Um, and then I've seen it go down to like 121. So I think it does fluctuate a little bit. Um, immediately. And I think in the, in the unboxing, when I tested it out uh, right away, there was an issue with this one where it was splitting stitches. And I will tell you, I still have a little bit of that issue with, um, with this, which I've never had on a Centro. So that's one of the biggest drawbacks to this. And I've also looked online and I saw even with the bigger ones, splitting stitches is a thing. And if you use a Centro, I mean, I've never experienced a split stitch on a Centro at all. And I think it's because the needles are different. In fact, um, I, they're, they're just the shape of the needles might play into that. Um, also maybe the gears on the inside. I can't tell you why, but a lot of the yarn that works well on my Centro was catching on here and it was a little frustrating. So you do have to be careful. You might have to, if you already have a Centro, you might have to reevaluate your yarn choices. But with that said, I can use yarn on here that I haven't been able to use on my Centro. Um, so that was a little eye opening as well. So I have been using this now for a while and I made, let's just, let's just do a little pan out here. Not drop my phone. I made this entire Wednesday inspired sweater almost 100% on this, on this. So I'm telling you, it's, it's, you can, it, and it just feels better. So, okay. My brain is everywhere. I don't know if you've realized that. Um, but ergonomically, I like the way this one fits better in my hand. So it's much faster to me. I've seen people actually say, and that was another question as I'm responding is how does it feel? What is the, the feel of it? So ergonomically, this is just, it's more comfortable for me. Um, but I have seen people say that since they've been using the Centro, it doesn't feel comfortable. I, literally, I had no, um, there was no ramping up to getting used to it. It was super simple. So 
I would say ease of use, how it works, all of that is great. Um, having the clamps that come with it is fantastic uh, because it makes it, again, go faster. If I tried to make this top with my Centro, it would, number one, it would have been grinding. I would have had to have held onto it with my hands. So my left hand would have been sore. Um, the tension probably would have been all over the place because I would have been getting tired. I mean, there's so many things I, I, I couldn't have done this with the Centro 22. So um, ergonomically, I think that it works really well. The cast on method, the knitting method, everything else um, works very similarly. The other big giant, big giant perk is that it has a row counter and it's a very solid row counter. This doesn't feel like it's going to break like on the big, I can't see it down there, but on the big Addy Express or Addy Express, on the big Centro, um, the counter breaks no matter, you know, no matter what it's going to break. It always does. Um, so it, it's not like that cheap counter. It's like a really solid, really solid counter. I mean, that's another great um, tool and it's really heavy and sturdy. So I, I love, I love, love this tool right here. Um, one drawback, if you're used to using a tensioner, which with our Centro products, we obviously use a tensioner, um, to hold this little, this little piece right here. Um, it doesn't come with it. And that I think is just built into the design because this up here, the yarn guide is kind of a combo pack of a tensioner as well as a yarn guide. Um, so I'm going to put her down because if I break her, I will be so sad. Uh, stay. Um, so I haven't had a chance to do panel on her yet. I've just been doing the tube. Um, some of the other projects that I've made, I perfected my little B. So I made this little, these little hanging bees and I made this with the little Addy Express. I really was trying to make so many different things to see. Um, I made a few headbands that I actually sent off as gifts. Um, what else? I've made so many different things. Oh, I'm holding this right here. Oh, by the way, if you are interested, I do have a video on how to make this um, little bee with the heart. And I'm, it's a longer video because I was trying out kind of a new format. It, it takes so long to edit these videos and get them to you. And if you don't know, I do have a full-time job and I have a business with my husband. Um, and I do social media on all platforms and I, I do a lot of things. So <laughs> anyway, so it takes a long time to edit these videos. And so I'm trying out different formats to make it a little bit faster. And so and, and I had a few different requests for different formats. So that one was more of, let me walk you through everything with a voiceover. Um, and then I also taught you how to crochet the wings as well as the heart. So it's a little bit longer video, um, but if you like that sort of thing, you have this right here that you can make. So what I did today is I tried my hand at socks. And uh, the reason I tried my hand at socks today, and I only got one done. Okay, I'm gonna be perfectly frank because um, I got a little frustrated, but I got one done because this yarn this yarn right here, let me show you. Okay, it looks like this. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got this in some thrift bag of yarn, some, you know, like grab bag of yarn. This will not work in any of my machines. This, it's it's super thin and you would think it would work. It doesn't work. It just, it tucks, it drops on all of my centros. So I was like, okay, today I decided let's give it a go. Let's see how it does in the Addy. So I doubled up the yarn, right? And I doubled up the yarn and I went to town. And it was pretty, it was pretty fantastic. Um, problems that I had with this again, I did get some of that uh, stitch, what am I, what I, with splitting, where the stitches were splitting. Um, so what would happen is they would split and then they get stuck up in the machine. And then uh, you just have one long string down the work that keeps it up here. And so you do have to keep a watch out for that. And unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's pretty common because I did a lot of research. Um, I did find a work, not a workaround, but a way if you're working on a project and you just have to keep going, um, you can try using some, um, I just posted a short of it today, but you can use embroidery, embroidery wax, which I had on hand because I embroider, um, but you can use embroidery wax and that tends to help a little bit, like condition the yarn so it doesn't uh, split as much. But anyway, so this is the first sock that I made. Um, and again, this is just one of the splits that happened. Overall, I'm I'm happy with this. In fact, this could be this could be a little glove. You know, if I didn't want to make another one, if I was totally frustrated, um, I could do just a little glove while I'm sitting on the sofa. Who knows what I can do with this? Um, 
but anyway, so overall, AdiExpress um, versus the Centro, hands down, AdiExpress wins all day. Is it worth $130? If you are going to be making a lot of items, um, this is not really, I mean, I guess it could be a hobby item, and it could be. I mean, as a sewist, I think I spent like $250 on my sewing machine, and that, you know, I mean, it's part of my social media, but also it's, it's a hobby. Um, so depending on how much you're going to, how much your hobby is worth to you, uh, I think the price could be a little prohibitive there. Um, but it definitely works really well. Um, I think there's a warranty on it as well. And, um, what were the other questions? And again, I didn't get to try the panel. Um, so that in a nutshell is, uh, everything there. If you have more questions about the two um, and how they compare to each other, pop those down below in the comments. Also, let us know if you have one or the other and why you prefer that one. Um, there are people that absolutely swear by their Centro 22 and they love them. Um, and I say, awesome. And I, I'm not going to get rid of her because what if I need to do just something quick on two different machines? Who knows? It can happen. Uh, and by the way, um, I have a few other unboxing videos coming up. So number one, I ordered an Addy egg and um, the Addy egg, if you don't know, makes iCord. So it's from the same company and it went on sale for $38. And last night I was just like, okay, I'm done. I'm buying it. I got to see this. Um, and iCord is the really small tubes that come out like this that you can do so many things with. Um, so that's coming this weekend. So stay tuned for an unboxing on that. And I will be getting the Addy Express King. I'm just going to get the bigger one. I can't help it. I love my clothing items. And I think if I have machines that work with my yarn and work really well, the price tag um, is worth it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notified of the um, upcoming videos that are very quickly on their way. And until next time, everybody, see ya!